Light, light, light. Start easy. Good. Okay, make sure the left foot pivots so that your entire hip turns. And when you swing, calf raise. Upper body is good, but we need to get more turn from that left foot, okay? All right, in front, in front, in front, okay? All right, ready? Good. Good. You said you played a lot when you were a kid? Yeah. But then you kind of stopped? Yeah. Yeah, I can see it. Did you play any tournaments, anything competitive? Oh, when I was like really young. How young? Uh, I don't know, like 11. Oh, uh, yeah. All right, right, we covered this last time. Two cross steps, finish on the right foot, swing, cross step, hop back, okay? All right, go. Good. All right, cross step. There we go. And again, when you recover, now that you're over here, when you recover, go across again and then hop. You can just gallop back, but crossing before you gallop is going to be faster. All right, I'll show you what I mean. So go through it with me, go to the center. All right, so when we approach, left, right. Okay, go ahead. Now when you swing, notice how I pivot my foot. So do, go ahead and do that, take your racket back. Swing, pivot that, pivot that foot. Now, cross back okay. and hop, okay. Perfect. There you go. Just too close. Okay. Spacing is very important. <laughs> Just give it time. You're doing fine. Okay. Okay. And after that cross step, then you hop. When you return with that cross step. I right, go. Okay, because when you're going back, you're hopping into it. Land first, then hop. Okay, it's a very small thing. It's not like huge. Okay, land first, then hop. I, I mean, it's sort of a dance. There, just like that. Okay. I didn't do it it's okay, it's okay. Now I've like read my head. Sorry, I feel like really out of place. Are you a morning person? I am, but I just feel really like, uh, like, you know, when you wake up to like 8,000 emails and you're just like, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Like it's not, it's not the best thing for your head in the morning. Good. All right. So your left arm is crossing down here when you swing. You want it to be out of the way and clear. 
okay? Yeah, you want your left arm out of the way. Stay. Open stance. Good. As long as it's not like crossing into your other arm, you're fine. Some people leave it down here. When I swing, I tend to open it up, but when you cross both arms, that's the issue. All right, here we go. Drop the racket more. There we go. Much better. Okay, we're gonna cross step five more times, go. Okay, get lower. If it's low, the knees have to bend. Three more. Good. Go. Cross step and then hop, then hop. Perfect, two more. Cross step, hop. Good. Doing it right is more important than doing it fast. One more. Good. When I rally back and forth with people, I move like super lazy. I try to do as little as possible. It's not about killing yourself, it's about doing the right movement, okay? All right, I'm gonna hit it straight at you. You're gonna gallop to the left and then swing. You wanna pivot, make sure those knees are pointed to the right, then gallop, still knees to the right, then swing and re-pivot forwards. Very simple. The cones? No, these just these balls are like bobbing. Okay, you're still doing the drag. You want to actually hop over to the left. Okay, hop to the left. Better? Good, you're hopping left and you hop right. Okay, so what you're doing is you're pushing off of the other leg like that. You need to step and drag. Oh, that yes, what gallop. that's what makes it a gallop. Step and drag. Good. Again. Good. Very small motion. Same thing. Step and drag. Okay. Because if you push off like that, it's not a gallop. This, this foot's not going like up and out. Okay. It's just stepping. Then we jump. Okay. We're getting wider. Then we jump. Okay. No, no, no. Whatever direction you're going in, that steps out and then pull. It's pulling. See that? It's pulling. Okay, if I'm going to the left, I step to the left, pull to the left. This foot is not push, pushing or anything. Okay? My right foot's getting carried. I'm lifting it. I'm not pushing off the right foot. Does it make sense? Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> Dude, this is not your morning. No, it is my morning. Don't say that. I need to get it with it. Okay, okay, okay fine, I'm fine. Like Perfect. I'll give you a lot of air time. You have plenty of time. You don't have to rush. Uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> you have awareness. It's good. As long as you have awareness, you're good. I get it. It's like your body wants to do one thing and your mind, you're trying to get it to do something else. Good. Very good. No, no, no. Those last like three to five were good. All right, start wider. Now start wider. The wider you are, the easier it is to push. If you stand tall, it's, you can't, I can't push. Okay. All right, here we go. Nice. Open the racket face at contact. Good. All right. We're going to go to the right three times and left three times. Okay. So cross step, then cross step hop to recover, gallop left, then gallop right. Okay. Good. Cross hop. Perfect. Two more. Way to get low with the knees. Cross hop. Now you're going to gallop left. 
Oh. Just a little bit. Three more. Sometimes you barely have to slide to the left. One more time. Right again. Move that. Wide. One more cross step. Gallop left. Nice. Clear the left arm. Very good. One more. Cross step right. Good. Left. One more. All right, another big thing we changed in the first lesson was the ready position. So instead of having the ready position tall, like this knight sword thing, you can have it flat. That makes it easier to just take your racket back. Instead of having to turn your wrist as you take your racket back, your racket's already ready. So all you have to do is turn and push, okay? All right, we're gonna do two more sets of each. So three right, three left, two more times. Ready? What? <laughs> two more sets of each. Three left, three right. I'm sorry, three right, three left. My left is your right. All right, here we go. Okay, that was a good shot. Really good. One more. Okay, that ready position, strings down. Good, now gallop left. And keep it like that, return to that state every time. Return, good, two more. One more. All right, northeast, okay? So how we're gonna move here, back up. Okay, you're gonna step with the left foot and pivot. Notice how I'm not just stepping forward. I'm stepping and pivoting, then I'm gonna gallop, then I'm gonna swing and pivot that back foot so my hips go from sideways to square. At the same time I swing. So what that's gonna look like is this, okay? Ball is short, again in tennis, you can only let the ball bounce twice, so I need to get up to it. Step, gallop, swing. See that? Okay, this is what you're doing the first time anyways, you were stepping in. So this is when you actually step in, when you need to move forwards. When you're just moving sideways, you stay open stance. When you move forwards, that's when you're gonna step into the ball, okay? All right, let's just go for it. All right, go. All right, you don't have to be fast, you just have to start early. Go. There, go a little lighter. Just toss your arm, but don't yank your arm at it. Okay. okay. I don't, what are we, when I'm coming backwards, like... Yeah, yeah, good question, good question. Back step, Back. hop. Okay, when you recover. Okay, back step pop. Very right. good. Give me one more. Okay, so here's a very important detail with where you put your front foot. Okay, so what I see you doing is that when you. I'll tell you what's going on. When you step and gallop, your left foot's on the left, not the right. Okay? So. This left foot should be across the other foot. When you're landing, you're landing like this, okay? But if you bring this other foot across, now I can sink. Now I can lunge and get low. If my left foot's on the left, I, I can't do that. I'm just gonna end up doing a regular squat. But if you lunge, you're able to actually go forwards and stand up. Again, I can't do that if something as simple as my left foot being over here happens. I can't, I can't go into the ball. Let me see your racket. So, you're stepping, getting up here like this. If you're too far, now you can't reach it. That front foot needs to lead towards the ball. See the difference? Yeah. 
I'm gonna stand here with the ball in my hand, and when you approach, I'm gonna drop it. And that's the detail we're looking for. Just take your time. Is that, is that correct what I just did? Yes. You want your left foot on the other side. Now gallop. Boom, right there. And once you land, I'm going to give you the ball. All right, go. Better. Again. There, so see where your left foot is? It's barely, it, it's fine if it's like barely to the right. Maybe even in front, that's fine. But if you have it to the right, that's ideal, okay? But not over here. Can you do this? Yes, but again, can you get low? No, so if I'm gonna land like this, I have to be in the right position. Otherwise, it's not gonna work. Okay, same thing. Left foot in front, left foot in front, right there. Good. Again, left foot in front. Perfect. Take your time. We don't have to go fast. Uh, your left foot as well. You step like really across and then switch direction and go forward. The direction should be congruent. The first step and the second and the gallop should be the exact same direction. Instead of your step is here and then you gallop there. Okay? Okay. There, everything is in the same exact direction. Perfect. Perfect. There we go. Good. And when you're like finishing your swing, like so I'm here, I'm going like this. Yep. This foot like one It's pivoting. For me, one for that does it actually go up or no? Yes, there's three possible ways that your weight can shift, okay? So again, if I'm in close stance and I swing, there's three things that can happen. Either this back foot, I lean, I drag, or I actually pick it up, do you see? It doesn't matter which one you do. All of those are right. It really just depends on how much you're trying to turn your body. So I'll give you an example. If I'm gonna hit to the right, I'm not gonna turn my body that much, so I'm probably just gonna lean. But if I want to hit all the way to the left, I'm probably going to turn way more and open up. So it doesn't really matter which one you you do. It just matters where you're trying to aim. Exactly, yeah. Okay. Yeah, all three of them are correct. Some people try to say, like, you have to, like, bring it around every single time. No, it, it doesn't matter. It's literally all determined by um, body turn. Okay. Now, I will say, if you're going to bring it around... You want to bring it on the outside, okay? You don't want to like walk forward into it, okay? Okay. I think I need Can you pass that ball? All right. What was your question? I think I need to pick up the pace. All right. Go faster then. Good. Back step. Hop. Same thing with that front step. Everything should be in the same direction. All right, go. Good. Okay. First step right here. There. All right, good. Keep going, keep going. I'm going to toss it to you. All right, first step towards it. Your first step is too much across. Keep going, keep going. It's not messing you up too bad, but it's risking putting you in the lo uh, wrong location. Good. Make sure the left foot's across, left foot's across. Perfect. Clear the left arm when you swing. Okay. 
Very good. Uh, you got too close. If you get too close, your racket face is going to be closed. Are you ready? All right. Sorry, Sam. Now you're good. Again. Okay. So ball is here. Don't go straight to the ball. Go straight to beside the ball. So if the ball is here, your first step needs to be here. Not across and then up. Okay. So again, the ball's there. My first step's here. See the difference? So now I can take it beside me. All right. Better. There. You want maximum distance from the ball. You'd rather be too far. You can always get closer. But if you're too close, there's no way to get away from the ball. Okay. Make sure your racket's open at contact. And you'll know because you'll feel a slide versus a pop. Okay. What's going on when you're hitting the net, your strings are making contact like this. Your shoulder has to rotate to put a platform underneath the ball, almost like you're kind of putting up a tray to get that pop. You see what I'm doing? Okay. Versus sliding over it. Okay. Now you can turn over after contact, but the initial contact angle has to be flat. You have to get that pop. Okay. Give me three more. Okay. Same thing. Open contact. Okay. Stay right there. I want you to isolate that. Okay. I want you to go slow. All right. Again, if you use force, you can use force to make like any technique work. What I want you to do is use less effort. That way we can see if what you're actually doing is working, right? Yeah. Correct technique works with less effort, but if you're doing something wrong, you can force it, but then you're gonna get tired, right? Yeah. Why don't you just stay right there in close stance and just hit forehands from there, okay? Back up a little bit. All right, front foot across. Okay, stay right there. Good. Good. Recover. So you're going to come up here three times, and then on the third time, you're going to stay up here. All right, go. Recover. Go. Recover. All the way behind the line. All the way behind the line. Stay on this one. Stay. All right. Now open stance. Now step in. Good. Open stance again. Step in. Step in. Recover. Go. All the way behind the line. All the way back. Go. Okay. All the way back. Stay on this one. Nice. Stay. Good. Now you're getting it. That's all right. Recover. Go. Very good. Good. One more time. Stay on this one. Okay. Just spacing. There's nothing wrong with your swing. It's just spacing on most of them. Make sure you're reaching out in front. Okay. The racket face only opens up in front of your body, not beside you. Good. So what happens, you'll catch it here. Right, even though I'm telling you to get an open contact angle, it's just not possible right here. If it's right beside you, your contact point is in front of you. That's where the racket's going to open up. It's going to briefly open up and then we close it again for spin. Okay. All right. Let's do three of everything we've done so far. So, so far we've learned how to cross step to the right, gallop left, and now come forward. Okay. We're gonna do three of each, cross step right. That's okay. Try again. Start over, right foot on the outside. There, less is more. Again, right foot on the outside. Okay. Now, last rep, don't leave your knees pointed this way. Turn, pivot that right foot so your knees point forward, okay? 
All right, last one. Pivot the right foot into the ball. One more time, one more time. When you pivot, also stand up, okay? You're not just turning, you're pushing up. All right, one more. Much better. Gallop left, okay? Drag with the outside foot. There. One more. Okay, you're gonna come up and stay three times like we just did. Are you ready? Step gallop. Recover. And stay on this one. Good, and yeah, your body is, when you follow through, that's when you tend to tilt your shoulder back. So you have a good swing, but when you get up here, this shoulder likes to open up the left chest. So you have to swing while, stay, while leaning into the ball. You have to stay leaning in the ball. Let's work on that for five shots right here, okay? Keep the shoulder down, okay? That left shoulder, you felt it that time? It likes to turn back, okay? Better. There. Keep that sh left shoulder down. One more. Recover. All right, start over. Cross step right. All the way back, all the way back. Find the line. Go. Good. Left shoulder. Keep the body tall. Much better. Okay. One more time. Keep the body tall. Don't turn back. Okay. Gallop left. Make sure that left foot's on the outside. Three more, three more. That left foot's in front. It's got to be on the outside. You fix it. That's one way. Last one. I'm not doing it though. You are. If you're in open stance, you're doing it. It's, it's not... It's not always big. It can, it can be small. Just like that. If the ball's right here, that's all I do. It's not always I'm going to hop over like two feet. All right, up, step gallop, stay on the third one. But I'll tell you when. Yeah, I don't want you to count. I just want you to focus on the footwork. Okay. Stay. Much better keeping the body tall, not falling back on that left shoulder. Give me three more. Soft, soft. There. There. Okay. Much better keeping the body tall because I'll show you what I, what I see. You're here, this, this redundant motion. When you swing, body should stay tall. Your lower back is what's controlling that. Your lower back is what's going to have to tighten. So again, you're up here and then this happens when you swing. And that's also kind of messing up your contact angle. So you want to stay tall. That's lower back. Okay. You feel it? Yeah. yeah. All right. We're empty. Let's pick up. All right, so we're gonna go north now. Okay, this is the L gallop we worked on, all right? That's this. Yeah. All right, so you step out, just like that. You might do two gallops or three gallops. So your first gallop sideways, then the other two, you're turning it into the court. I'm gonna toss it high and give you some time. Did I tell you about my Instagram page? Oh yeah, I got a bunch of tennis videos up there. I'll share it with you later. Good, very good patience letting it drop. Okay, most people rush and try to take it high. Perfect. And I'm back the recovery is exact same. Back step hop. I oh, you totally slapped that one. Okay, when you back step, you're not skipping back <laughs> all right you just you just go back back pedal back pedal is a better way to put it okay back pedal hop all right gallop around okay back pedal hop there you go hop perfect behind the line behind the line you can't cheat okay go okay i'm like not you are <laughs> really slow <laughs> We got to get you fast. Like, dude, <laughs> what happened? Oh, come on. Do you do cardio? Like, what exercise do you do? I'm fast. 
Okay, let's see the speed now. Okay, okay, no, 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 but you can't run. You can't, you can't go across with that first step. You have to go wider. You have to step out. Okay, here's how you gallop faster. Wide and low. And there's no air time. So a regular gallop, I'm in the air. But to make it faster, I'm actually going to be dragging now. Okay? And I guess, like I said earlier, you don't need to be fast. You need to start early and you need to do it right. Okay? Speed is the last thing you want to worry about. It's critically important, but you want to be doing everything else right first before you speed things up. Okay? Excellent. It's such an awkward movement. Okay. Which part? The whole thing? Question. Why would I, if the ball is going to land right there, why would I not just go straight to it? Why am north, I... Northeast or north? Northeast or north? This one. Yeah. Because you need side space. Okay. Okay, okay. Run straight to this ball. No. <laughs> right. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> All right, here we go. I'll tell you what's later, okay? If the ball's really short, like there, is galloping going to work? No. What you will do, rapid cross steps forward, then gallop to the left. But this is, when it's closer and in front of you, you gallop around you. When it's far and in front of you, that's, that's when you do an L the other way. Let me do that again. Back up, back up, back up. Okay, so if I have a winner, back up more. Okay, if, if it's really far up, I will go straight. Then I'll take that step out. Then I'll gallop. You don't do that for this one though, okay? So if it's close to you, you go sideways and up. If it's really far, you go up, then sideways. Does it make sense? <laughs> your, your face. It will make sense when we do it. It will make sense when I do it more because my body feels like weird. Yes, yes, yes. All right, here we go. Trust it. The more you practice all of this, the more natural it's going to feel. Oh, you got that left shoulder falling back again. Okay, go. Keep the body tall. Much better. Okay. Good job keeping the body tall, but when the ball's low, the knees need to sink. That's where that left foot stepping across comes in, and you did that well. But now you need to make use of it. Go. Better. Yeah, you went across. Your right foot went across like that. Did you say you play soccer? Yeah. That looks like a soccer move. Yeah. Your first step is going to be left foot out wider. Okay, instead of going across. All right. Stand wide. Now you're going to go wider. Good. That time you only need one gallop. It's fine. Go wider. Much better. Left shoulder. <clears throat> okay. I want you to stay all the way back. All the way back. In open stance. Your full work is good for all the locations we worked on. But now I want to isolate that swing. That left shoulder likes to fall back. You were talking earlier about your body tilting back. It's not your entire body. It's just that left shoulder. Okay. All right. So what you want to do instead, is when you swing, focus on the hips turning rather than your body tilting. Okay. All right. Stay open stance. A little bit better. The shoulders can turn, but not tilt back. Good. Good. I think you develop that habit of tilting to open up your racket faces. That's why a lot of people do it. There's people that, that will tilt their body so that their strings are facing up. You want to swing and rotate the shoulder to get your strings up, not tilt your body to open everything up. Okay. Stay tall. Better. Okay. Good. Perfect.
That's right. Okay, now turn sideways in the closed stance, because that's what we use when we're up here. Okay, but you're gonna do it back there. And now the same thing manifests even when you're in closed stance is that you'll tilt back. So swing, shift your weight forwards, turn your shoulders forwards, but don't tilt back. Okay, sideways. Okay. Ah, that. You felt that? That motion. Okay. Same thing. Okay. You want to stay tall. Like that. Okay. Keep the shoulders level with the ground. Shoulders level with the ground. Perfect. Okay. Less is more. Okay. We're making the footwork simple. We're making the swing simple. Good. Shoulders stay uh, square with the ground. Good. So now you're able to just pick up the ball. Very good. All right, let's work on north again. Okay, ready? All right, gallop around it. Okay, shoulder, full work, perfect. Now, keep the body tall, keep it tall. Yes. There's a little bit of shoulder motion there, but it wasn't as bad. Yes, that one's perfect. Again, do that one again. Remember how that one felt. Perfect. Perfect, you got it now. You're doing a good job keeping the body tall. That's okay. Yep. Good. When we first practiced, I, I noticed there was something with the forehand, but I couldn't figure it out. But now, now I, I can tell what's going on. I knew like you were tilting back, but I didn't realize like it was more on that left shoulder. Those last like 10 you did, very good job. Staying tall with the shoulders, body's tall, okay? Okay, three of everything we've done so far, right, left, up, around, okay? All right, right, cross step, body tall. Good. Pause. I'll tell you another reason why you like to take, uh, take your shoulder back is because your abs will crunch forward. So usually your abs will crunch forward, then you're gonna wanna go back. This whole thing has to stay tall. Does that make sense? Like usually if you go forwards, you're gonna wanna go backwards, okay? Left, wide open stance, go. Gallop, open stance, keep that left foot on the outside. Two more, I need two more good ones. Okay, good, one more good one. Very good, step gallop forward, wait. You're gonna go northeast. Okay, wide, go. There we go. Okay, you're also tilting when you take your racket back, keep the body tall, give me two more. Good. So the knees are going to be much more square. One more. Okay. Around. Okay. One more. I want a good last one. Good. We're going to run it back. Three of everything again. Ready? Uh, right. 
Okay, make sure you turn the knees by pivoting the foot. There you go, perfect. Okay, left. Okay, make sure you're actually hopping to the left. Good. One more. Now you gotta go northeast, step gallop, go. A little close. And then the back, the back tilt, three more. Uh, keep it tall, good. Good. Around. Very good. Make sure you're not crossing on that first mo uh, motion. Good. That was three. All right. 